support agencies have warned youth homelessness is set to escalate with cuts to welfare payments proposed in the federal budget. The government has budgeted $230 million over four years to help people aged under 30 whose benefits are cut off. An estimated half a million job seekers may access the assistance. Andre Withy reports. Rosie Laurie has been unemployed since February and lives in supported housing in Brisbane. The 25-year-old is horrified at the prospect of no income for six months if she can't find a job. If what's happening is going to happen, I'm probably going to end up on the streets. She's not alone. I don't really have family that will help me. I was pretty much living with like my aunt for a week and she was all she wanted was for me to get out. A lot of people are under the impression that people are on the dole because they don't want to get a job. But there are a fair few, a fair few of us that do actually want to get a job. 19-year-old Michaela Dwyer has several qualifications and was meant to start a sales job but is now on crutches. My problem was no one wanted to give me a chance because I have never had a job history. Support agencies say the changes are based on the assumption that all young people have accommodating families. And that if they have no income for a period of six months that they'll be able to be housed and fed by their families. But in fact there are thousands of young people that we see every year and across Australia probably tens of thousands of young people who are not in that situation. And for those at risk it's a scary prospect. Andre Withy, ABC News.